G'day guys, welcome back to the Lion Lawn. Uh, on today's video, I have a new toy to play with. It is the uh, de-thatcher attachment for the Ryobi Scarify tool um, that I used during the renovations. Uh, so on today's video, I'm going to put that into the machine, give it a test run, see how it fares up against a de-thatcher attachment for a big cylinder mower. Uh, and uh, explain whether or not it's worth a purchase and how it may help turn your uh, Ryobi uh, Scarify tool into something a little bit more useful for the rest of the year when you're not using it for a reno. But before I do any of that, um, you may remember from my last video I was struggling with a massive uh, issue uh, up on the backyard out there. The grass had uh, died and uh, gone very dry and I was very worried that it was either a grub or a, or a disease or something had uh, got in there. Uh, and I hit it with uh, a super dose of humic acid and some soil wetter and have a look. Crisis averted. I sort of uh, might have overreacted a little bit there because it's totally fine. So <laughs> that's a good thing. So before I get stuck into uh, the um, scarifying and the de-thatching um, demo today I'm just going to get the allet out and whip over the yard and get a mow on uh, and then I'll come back to you and show you what this is capable of. We'll see together I suppose. Alright I'll get the mower out. It's looking pretty good. I thought I'd come out here early and beat the heat, but I've not done that. It is hot. But, as you can see, it's looking much better than it did last video, which was about 10 days ago. Um, but you can still see the dry, dead stuff just creeping in underneath. It's still just a bit thatchy under there from where it had died. The green's now growing over the top of it, but now, essentially, all that dead stuff is uh, undermining the mini reno that I did a few weeks ago. So. Hence why I've got the Ryobi scarifying attachment today, the dethatching attachment. Um, I'll put it together and we'll come up here and see if we can't fix that up. But I'll tell you what, I think it's looking pretty good. Might be just about time for some PGR. Right, I've got the scarifier here. Um, it's, this is the 18 volt version, it takes two 18 volt Ryobi batteries to run it. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with this particular tool, um, go back and have a look at some of my old videos, but I'll put a little inset video up here of what it actually does. Um, but you use it to rip all of the dead material from just under the canopy of the grass and inside the, the top layer of your, your soil. Um, clear out all that dead stuff um, so that you can get um, water and nutrients and, and um, fertilizer and stuff right down into the root section of your lawn to help it grow and uh, it uses these big nasty blades to do it. It sort of rips and tears its way through. It's got a couple of different height settings so you can drop it lower into the soil profile if you like. Uh, but before we work on it, because they're so nasty, those blades, I will check. I have no batteries in it and just for argument's sake, I'll take the isolator plug out of it so it's not gonna rip my fingers off. But it looks to be a pretty easy process to swap over into this new attachment. Here it is here. They call this the de-thatcher attachment. Um, its job is to do a bit of a lighter version of that. Only it doesn't go into the soil profile so much. It just goes under the grass canopy and pulls out the dead thatch that may have accumulated if you're not catching your clippings or if you've, like me, you've had an issue where it's all died and then you've promoted growth over the top of it. But as you can see, they're like spring-loaded tines and they'll put a bit of pressure on the grass as they spin in and then flick the, flick the dead stuff out um, and pull up some of the runners and that sort of stuff. Now, that's the right size, 35 centimetre one. So to take out the old one, it's just two locating Allen key bits here. those. This might be a good time for a little bit of a music montage. Once that retaining piece is removed, looks like that, 
take that right away. Then I imagine you slide this thing out and up. Yeah, beauty. Um, as you can see on the end, it's got a square coupling, so it's easy to get it in right. This little guy, same square coupling. So we will sit that down on top of that. Pop the bearing, make sure the bearing's seated properly. It can only go in one way. And then pop this locator back on. Now, as I said at the start, having this attachment might make this whole tool a bit more economical for you because if you bought this, I think they are $3.99 or $4.99 or something like that, and if you bought it, and you're like me, just the average punter, you're only going to use it once a year, but you've got to store it for the whole year. And it's it's not huge, but it is in a shed this size. It's a pain in the bum. It takes up a heap of space. I've always said to uh, to my mates, if they want to borrow it, they're welcome to, but they've got to have it for a three-month minimum to get it out of my garage. Because I only use it once, maybe twice a year. But for five or six other times a year or even more you know once a month you could use this um, it might be worth hanging on to if you put this attachment in because then like I said you can have this attachment in and do it every second mo and then once or twice a year throw the um, what we'll call the nasty bastard attachment in and do your renovation with that but then have this as a runner every other every other mo so it might if it proves to be useful it might uh, be beneficial for you so, all right, that's all there is to it. That's tight, there's no play in that. As you can see, they swing around where well, you don't drop it. And there we go. What I will do is I'll now throw my um, dethatching cartridge into the Liberty um, over there. Um, you've seen me do that before, so I probably won't film too much of that. I'll just chuck it in. And then uh, we'll go up to where that um, problem patch was and I'll run these side by side and just see what they are what, what they do differently to each other whether it's the same result whether one's better than the other and um and just generally see how that one is going to perform as a new tool all right so i've got to uh, oh, take that off so i've got both machines ready to go i've got the um scarifying dethatching cartridge in the liberty we've got the new cartridge in the ryobi and uh I've set this one down to the scarifying setting, uh, which is what you're supposed to use for this cartridge. And then I'll lower this one down bit by bit just to see what it's going to do because I don't know how deep it's going to go and I don't want to trash the lawn. Um, but I'll use this one first and do a couple little passes and just see what it does. So let's fire it up. Put my hat on because the Australian sun is doing its absolute finest today. <coughs> So that's what it's taking out. You can see a fair bit of dead stuff, a little bit of leftover green from me just mowing, I suppose. I'll drop the height and see if it goes better. Uh, that's all just dead junk that's stopping my uh, water and fertilizer getting into the soil. And you can see it's sort of tearing the grass a little bit. So that might be a bit too deep. I might have to stick on the first setting maybe um, because I don't want to do too much damage. But what I'll do now is I'll just run the Liberty across next to it and see what it does. Again, much of a muchness, 
all just dead dry stuff that's just hiding under the canopy there. Um, it has also popped up the runners, which is another consideration, I suppose, that if you um, if you were to do this, you might want to mow to get the height down, run the um, dethatcher over it, and then run the mower over again. It's a bit of a pain in the bum, but it might pick up those extra runners and get them out of there, which wouldn't be a bad thing. But it looks as though the Liberty has not done as much damage as the Ryobi. Um, but I'd say that's just to do with the depth that I run it at. So I'll uh, go over it with the Ryobi with the height up and then uh, maybe knock it down with the mower at the next height. See so how we go. Hopefully you can see what that's like in there. A bit of green, but mostly just brown thatchy stuff, which is good. And what it's done to the grass, not terrible. You, know, you can barely, except for the big fat runners sticking up, you can't really tell that I've run it over. So yeah, I think that'll be the plan. I'll do the yard with this little guy. Oh, I'll point that so that you can actually see me who you're talking to. Oh, who are you listening to? Um, run over the rest of the yard and then if I see fit, if there's enough of them, I'll put the cutting blade back in the uh, Liberty and just give it a quick tidy up. But hopefully that will clear up all of that dead stuff that was hiding under there that the green, the new green growth had sort of just towered over the top of. And uh, that soil weather that I put down last week, the humic acid's doing its thing and fixing this patch right up looks great. So I'll keep going. Man, it's hot. Pretty quick single pass, and let's have a look. Right, I'll bring you down and have a look. Okay, so there are some green runners that have come up, but the majority of it is just dead or dying, dry nastiness. So that's on setting one. It hasn't done a whole lot of damage. It's pulled up a bunch of runners that I didn't know were there, so I'll go through and nick those out. And it used none of that battery. And none of that battery. So in terms of power economy compared to the normal scarifying bit in it that you sort of, if you're doing a reno, you've got to charge these up every sort of 10 minutes. Now I know what you're thinking. He was out in the grass a second ago, midway through a sentence. And you're right, I was. But as if to perfectly illustrate just how hot it's getting here today, my GoPro, the flagship GoPro that they sell, that is currently, as we speak, strapped to competition trucks, burling their way through the Saudi Arabian desert in the 2022-2023 Dakar rally, has just overheated and shut down because it was too hot. So <laughs> that's unfortunate. But I'm back in the shed now and it seems to be cool enough to work, but I think I was getting my point across um, before that all happened. Look, this little um, cartridge at $69 from Bunnings is a, a game changer for this bit of machinery. If you buy this, like I said, I've probably said it a couple of times in the video because I've lost track of where I'm up to, but it's $399 or $499 or whatever you get. If it's a 36 volt or the 18 volt, if you buy it and you're like me and you're only going to use it once or twice a year, it's a pain in the bum to store because it's just not practical. It takes up a lot of room and it only does one thing. Now, 
$69 and a little bit of elbow grease to change that over suddenly you've got something you can use fortnightly monthly whatever and then put the the regular blade back in it for your once a year reno and those sorts of things and the difference it's going to make to your lawn doing that fortnightly um, is just amazing I reckon if I'd have been doing this albeit with the allet that I've got if I'd have been doing that more regularly I wouldn't have had the uh, the, the drying out issue that I had uh, up there that I've just recently fixed up so um, I think this is successful it's pretty great um, like I said I did 150 square meters oh but I was work, walking pretty quick and I was on the highest setting but it didn't even take a single light off either of the two 18 volt 5 amp hour batteries that I'd put in it so um, that's good economy out of it they've turned a machine that is really good at one thing into something that's really good at that one thing and also can be good at the other thing as well so props to Ryobi for that because I think that's what these sorts of machines need they, they need multi-function um, capabilities to make it worth your while buying it and storing it in the shed so um, yeah all right that might wrap it up for this video um, yeah I don't think there's anything else I'm going to do out here today I might run the mower over the uh, the front and the sides I'm still not in a position to uh, do any filming out the front and the side because I'm still trying to fix up that mess um, and uh, it's going it's getting better but it's still not great so uh, at some stage in the next few uh, weeks sort of towards the end of season I might take the camera out there and show you what I've done out there but uh, for the time being we'll stick out the back so um, yeah beauty if you like this video if it was helpful um, give it a thumbs up leave me a comment um, if you agree disagree with anything I've said put something in the comment before, below I love uh, love engaging and having a chat with people and, and learning things that I uh, I potentially missed or didn't pick up on or whatever um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do um, it helps me grow we're sort of edging towards 600 subscribers which is pretty cool um, but yeah other than that hope you are all doing well and uh, have a good week catch you next time on the Lion Lord